simple tips that will instantly improve your game to get higher scores in Halo 3. Stay tuned throughout the video to get all the details of how to get better at Halo. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're giving you some tips and tricks on how to play better in Halo 3. Right now Halo 3 is kind of about all the hype right now in the Halo community. It's bringing back a lot of people to the Twitch uh, field which is fantastic. A lot of people making videos on this. So I figured with new people coming in, a lot of people probably playing from Halo 5, probably never even played Halo 3 or maybe played a little bit don't understand how the whole thing works because there are some unique aspects to Halo 3 that I want to show off in this game play video here so then you can hopefully implement these into your game to hopefully do better but one way to really improve your game is to know weapon spawns and power up spawns and their timing as well it's absolutely crucial in halo 3 since unlike in halo 5 you know you have an announcer comes up saying two minutes to or 10 seconds to rocket launcher kind of thing which i think is very useful for everybody who's playing the game but in halo 3 you don't have that so you have to memorize all the timers and locations a great way to figure out timers is to go into forge like i am in right here you press up in the d-pad you're in forge mode and a grit so then like right now you're checking out i'm on the pit and uh now you can see like okay there's a battle rifle you go over hold press x on it you can see that the respawn time is every 30 seconds. That's pretty standard when it comes to battle rifles and these kind of weapons. Uh, but you can see right here, here's a rocket launcher. And the respawn time on that is 180 seconds, so three minutes. So you have to know exactly when those rockets get picked up and when to be there when they, you know, go, go and be spawning up again. They spawn up again every three minutes as well. Uh, at least I believe that's all it is. For like the hardcore playlist, it might be due to uh, whenever dropped is the last time it will spawn up or when the respawn timer starts. But it's saying like keep an eye on like those timer moments like at uh, like 12 9 45 and then also like 5 45 as well and like a very important times as well to keep an eye out for power weapons sniper rifle here you can see 120 seconds so two minutes spawn time on that uh, these are pretty standard spawn times as well so you can pretty much whenever you play a map you can know that these are pretty much gonna be the general spawn times for like a power up three minutes sniper rifle is two minutes and I believe shotgun is also two minutes as well that's pretty standard for every uh, every map in Halo 3 so and it's whenever that weapon is dropped that's when that timer starts so uh, spawn times can be a pretty messy when it comes to uh, casual play I know that with a uh, hardcore play this that the timer is a little bit more set to be every three minutes it's spawning every two minutes uh, so you're jumping between those two rules but i'm kind of focusing more on just like social slayer aspect because that's what most people are going to be playing but yeah to summarize know your spawn times know your spawn locations that will help you out intensely when it comes to your you know your standard social social slayer matches uh, i mean i can get like a two to one kd almost every game just knowing how to play the game knowing weapon pickups and spawn times and you know weapon and power up locations as well so Definitely want to keep that in mind when, for your gameplay. Another very crucial tip for beginners or people who might not have played Halo 3 in a long time, that Halo 3 uses projectile hit registration. That means that your bullets have to travel through time to hit your opponent. Not like in Halo 2 or in Halo 5 or in Halo 4 as well, where the bullets will go exactly where you're shooting. Uh, in this game, you have to lead your shots, much like say if you ever play like a game like Battlefield or um, any or like the any of the battle royale games like PUBG, Fortnite, they all use projectile weaponry and uh, that's what Halo 3 uses as well so you want to kind of lead your shots left and right a little bit and strafing uh, in this gunfight I'll show you a perfect example of what I'm talking about so this guy, I'm over here in BR3 guy goes over to S2 and I'm trying to pick him off at range and you can see how my reticle it goes off the character's aim but I'm still hitting him as you can see right here so I pick up the battle rifle I see the guy over here Look at where I'm aiming right over here. I already hit this guy, looks like for like three shots. And look at where my reticle is. But that's just because I'm strafing him one way, he's strafing another way. I had to lead my shots. And that's how I'm able to clean up this guy super quick. As you can see, like my reticle wasn't really necessarily on the guy much at all, really. I'm just gonna slow this down here so you can kind of see a better idea. So three shot hit right there. And next shot, I lead my shots a little bit to the left, I hit him again. And the next shot, I kind of aim him straight ahead because he didn't really move. Last one, a little bit of a lead on that one as well. And I'm able to pick him off. So you can see like my reticle isn't necessarily on him, but I'll still be able to get the headshots because you got to predict motion properly when it comes to uh, Halo 3, which is kind of comes down to uh, just practice. 
it really just kind of comes to our practice and getting a feel of what the projectile uh, weaponry is like in Halo 3. I mean, just doing some 360 spins and not really getting much accomplished there. <laughs> but generally, if the guy's moving to the left or right, just want to aim just a little bit ahead or of the character or maybe a little bit behind, depending on the situation, to get the proper kill. And lastly, for basic tips when it comes to Halo 3, is the movement. It's a lot slower and a little bit more methodical when it comes to Halo 5 or even Halo 4 as well, as it obviously there is no sprint uh, or boost or clamber or anything like that, so it's a relying a lot more on your kind of ability to time things properly. And so one thing I want to show you is the strafing right here. So basically like the strafing has a bit of an acceleration kind of speed to it. So where like if you're kind of like in Halo 5, you know, you're kind of just going left, right, left, right, kind of like, you know, like this kind of maneuvering. And that's kind of a good way to strafe. On Halo 3, it doesn't really work with a quick strafe. Kind of like this, you're basically just kind of like standing still, very easy to kill. So you kind of want to like take your time, kind of move out and be a little bit less predictable on going left and right. But you kind of want to stretch that out a little bit more than you normally would say in Halo 5. And so that's just one way to kind of get your strafe a little better. Another thing too is uh, the crouch jump, since there is no clamber in Halo 3, and um, it's crouch jumping is going to be much more important to you. So it'll help you kind of maneuver through the map more effectively to get to those power ups and power weapons, especially in the beginning of a game, are very effective. So like right here's a perfect example of a crouch jump. So I would say I do a jump. I can't make that jump normally, but if I crouch jump on this right here, I'm able to hit that totally fine. So it's just another way to kind of help maneuver yourself through the map to be a little bit more effective. And uh, be talking about maneuvering through the map, uh, I have two uh, maneuvers you can pull off, which are very easy to pull off that pro players back in Halo 3 implemented, and they're actually named after pro players. One is called Gandhi Hopping, made famous by the got player Gandhi, and also the strong side maneuver, which is popular from strong side. You probably remember from him as a caster in Halo 5. Yeah, he was a pro in Halo 3. And so I want to show you what Gandhi hopping looks like. Basically what it is of Gandhi hopping, you jump up in the air and while you're jumping, you're tapping the crouch button. And in Halo 3, what that does, it kind of makes your character do like this weird kind of zigzaggy jump motion, which makes it just a little bit more difficult for players to get that headshot on you. And so then it kind of messes things up a little bit. So this is kind of like what it looks like. You can kind of see, it kind of also kind of helps you hang in air a little bit longer than you would expect from a regular jump. And just like I said, it just kind of makes you that much more difficult to shoot. Kind of tough to tell, but you can kind of see like how like my screen might be shaking a little bit. That's because I'm clicking in the left stick to crouch quite often. And so then another maneuver here from a pro player strong side is called obviously the strong side maneuver, which is basically all you got to do is just putting your head down while getting shot. So say you're out here in the open and you're on the bridge, you're getting shot from the tower here, like, oh no, I gotta turn away. So one thing you can do, what most players will just do is just turn around and just kind of walk away. The thing is though, that leaves the back of your head completely exposed. And so one way you can do is uh, actually made popular by the player strong side, is that you look straight down the ground like this. And what this does, it kind of curls your head down. And so you can't get that headshot from behind and you just kind of look down and walk away. This does involve a little bit more comfortable uh, maneuvering abilities from yourself and better map knowledge so then you can kind of just like look down the map and kind of just know exactly where to go so you don't like walk into the wall like i'm doing right here you know you can kind of see okay well i kind of know how the, these patterns on the floor look work so i just know i need to cross this double yellow line and i'll be totally fine so it's kind of comes down to that uh, kind of maneuvers but definitely gandhi hopping and strong sighting is a uh, very important you can actually combine the two together like this you can see how my legs are kind of like jumping up and down. That's combining those two maneuvers together are very important when it comes to evading in Halo 3. And plus, they're super super easy to implement. So yeah, go for it. Definitely want to try that out. So those are just my basic tips right there when it comes to playing Halo 3. Obviously, there's a lot more that goes into being a good Halo player. But I feel like if you can understand the weapon spawns and where they spawn, that's absolutely huge. Uh, being able to maneuver through the map properly using crouch jump properly, Gandhi hop and strong side maneuvers which are very easy to implement and will help you out a lot. And knowing to lead your shot because these weapons are projectile in Halo 3 and so you have to just kind of get a feel to understand the projectile how you have to lead your shots. I suggest just going to Team Slayer, playing a lot, going some customs and playing with your friends is a great way to kind of understand the feel of the game because it definitely has that kind of aspect to Halo 3 which kind of increases that skill gap a little bit more. 
But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this kind of video and want to see more like it, make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel, greatly helps out the video to get more notoriety so more people get to stay in the know when it comes to being a better Halo player just on the basic levels. So kind of like a, think of this video as just kind of like a Halo 3 for dummies kind of thing. If you have your own tips about Halo 3, make sure to leave in the comment section down below. There's plenty of stuff to learn about in Halo 3 that uh, we can all benefit from. So I like to do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Maybe enough tips can be brought up in the comment section that I can maybe make another video on it, which would be fantastic. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to keep you notified whenever we do anything awesome on the channel, which is going to be every time. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel or miss anything from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I'll catch you all in the next video.